I can count back in tens and ones to solve subtraction problems by not crossing the ten. So this little symbol here means subtraction which also means take away. So my first number is 76 and I'm going to take away or subtract 32. So what I do here is I first of all look at how many tens I've got and how many ones I've got. So you can see I've got seven tens and six ones. So that's the amount I've got here on my board. So what I want to do now is to take away 32 or three tens and two ones and this is how I do that. So I've got seven tens and all I want to do is to take away three tens. So one, two, three. So that's my three tens taken away. And my next step is to have my six ones. And I want to take away two ones. So one, two. And all I do is count up to see how many I'm left with. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40. 1, 42, 43, 44. So if I write that in, my answer is 44. I can also solve 76, take away 32 by using a hundreds board. So I'm going to put my face on the number 76 and I'm going to take away 30. So 76, take away 30 take away 10 is 66, take away another 10 is 56, and take away another 10 is 46, and I want to take off another 2, so here I go back 1 and 2, so I get my answer 44. So I can also show this on a hundreds board with a different problem, so that's 39 take away 24. So I start my face on 39, and I want to first of all subtract the tens and then the ones. So I do that by going 39 take away 20. So 39 take away 10 is 29. Take away another 10 is 19. And then I want to take away 4. So I move backwards on my number board. So 1, 2, three, four, and my answer is 15. And I can also show 39 take away 24 on a number line. So what I want to do first is split this number 24 into 20 and four ones. So I'm going to start at 39 and I'm going to jump back 10 to 29 and then another 10 to 19 so that's my 10 jump and my other 10 jump to make 20 and then I'm going to so I'm at 19 at the moment and then my next number I'm going to subtract 4 so 19 18 1 17 2 16, 3, 15, 4. So I arrive at 15. So that's another way of subtracting or counting back in tens and ones to solve subtraction problems.